want to just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I should start. All right. Well, what's your background? I was a theater kid. I was a band geek. Beyond being low income, I'm also undocumented. My first uh, commanding officer in the Coast Guard was a lawyer. I go to like a Korean supermarket and I start conversing with someone in Korea, and everyone's always just like, oh my God, like, because they don't expect it. I'm the first in my family to go to college. This has very much shaped who I am and how I look at our responsibilities as an institution. I'm the first in my family to have gone to, to college. I am a very good beatboxer. Why do you want to become a lawyer? It's a question that, that like kind of makes you want to give a really profound answer. <laughs> I feel like I need to do some sort of work that benefits something or someone or anyone beyond myself. I went to law school to sue governments for human rights atrocities. I did not, I did not want to be a bystander to history. It is about people's lives. Being Native, realizing that there wasn't a lot of lawyers, I wanted to be a part of those things that were going to change and make my, my tribe a better place to live. I think there's a lot of areas and a lot of instances where an attorney could have helped my family. Growing up, we always had to live with the fear of like, okay, what if mom doesn't come home? What are the ripples of that going to be for my family? Uh, what attracted you to Berkeley Law? Berkeley's history of uh, social justice work and civil rights work. They're really at the frontier and cutting edge of researching the intersection of technology and law, which is my passion. Uh, we're in a world in which so much of the evidence that the government is seeking is digital evidence. And the courts are struggling with these questions. They actually don't know the answers yet. Having a law degree gives you a special path to helping people. Then, as today, uh, a large percentage of each income and class wanted to pursue public interest work. And I don't think there's any law school in the country that better embodies this idea of public mission than Berkeley Law School. If they never want to do pro bono work, then this isn't the right school for them. That everybody around them is going to be engaged in doing service to the community. It's really who we are as an institution. That's essential to me. That is literally why I'm going to law school. We're basically setting up the rules for the next 50 years or 100 years of the world we're in. Being a part of that feels really special to me. What's the vibe of the community at Berkeley Law? Our students tend to be incredibly warm and like family. You, you just feel it in the air. There's something about the school. I love um, my community here at Berkeley. Truly, truly love them. Art, culture, people. It's a stream that runs through the middle of the campus. Everyone's passionate, everyone cares. We're an elite school without the elitism. I had no idea what Berkeley was like or the Bay Area. When I came out here, I truly found home. What do you find to be the very best thing about being at Berkeley Law School? I am one of the co-leaders of the Berkeley Immigration Group, and we go out to San Francisco and monitor how immigration judges are treating undocumented immigrants. First year students are allowed to have a client who is currently incarcerated in California State Prison. And that's something I never would imagine that I was able to do in my first year of law school, let alone at the age of 23. I've also been really involved with Queer Caucus, which is Berkeley's LGBT affinity group. I'm enjoying it. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe that's why, but I'm loving law school. There's a sense that the law school needs you. I think when you feel needed, you're willing to sort of like share and be open. Take care.